This is an emergency, I'm begging urgently, this is a serious case. Forget who is my reach, you got me at the moment reading. Now keep in mind, I'm not crowning you, I'm just telling you the headspace and energy you're in, okay? I'm going to sit up here and put some Florida water on my hands before we begin. So again, how your day been going so far? Oh, it's been going well, Lord. Oh man, it's been going excellent. I had a great day. That's good. So gonna have a great reading. Yeah, I hope so. If you don't, I'm gonna punch you. Oh no. Yep, I know I know where you live. I can find out your shoe size. Mm-hmm. Oh no. I'm a psychic. I come to your house and punch you with a psychic bolt and run away. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. So remember, the more energy you bring to the reading is gonna be the better. And you did press out that you wanted this to be recorded to be played on YouTube at some point. Not tomorrow. Okay. Alright, so as you know I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading birth dates or zodiac signs. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. Uh, so I'm going to be getting, doing you who is my Arisha guiding me at the moment reading. Uh, the way it works, I deal 13 cards. The first Arisha to pop out of those 13 cards, that's the Arisha that's over your head. I deal 10 more cards. The first Arisha to pop out of those 10, that's the Arisha that's over your actions. I deal 7 more cards. The first Arisha to pop out of those 7, that's the, over your destiny. Pay very close attention to that one, okay? Now that I've taken the liberty of shuffling the cards, everything, I want you to say your first name so I can pray over. In the Holy Spirit. These these are going to be. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got going on. First card. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Oh, slick talker. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You don't have a destiny, spirit. Which one of y'all want to come? Yep, which one of y'all want to come out and be her destiny? Seven cards. Which one of y'all want to come out and be her destiny? One. Uh, all right. Uh, I got to drink something before I get on this hill. Let's start with your first, Arisha. This is the this is the area uh, we're gonna start with your head. This is why you think like you think, perceive like you perceive, speak like you speak, you know, even hear like you hear. In this house right here, you have Ocean Mayor. If you know anything about Ocean Mayor, yeah. he's a he's a charmer. He's a charmer. Yeah. He's always talking about the good in life, the bad. He never delivers bad messages to you. He's always that guy with the good note, the good word. Um, he's he's in the house of how your head. So he, I know what all the whole readers say, but Spirit's saying you're sitting up there trying to convince. Notice the key word I'm trying to I'm telling you. You're trying to convince somebody that you're worth it. You trying to convince yourself that you're worth it. And so the second card means that you're doing a lot of uh, self care. Yeah. Oh, okay. I not, I'm doing it correctly. And did you know if you were doing your self care correctly. I ain't talking about putting on no clothes and no wig and no mask. I'm talking no, about. I'm think not about. Talking about the internal. Oh the, no, I ain't talking about internal. I'm talking about external physical self care, carnal. Uh, okay. 
Okay, so you talking about like extra time and things like that? Cause I, I mean, I've been on that all. No, mama, masturbation. Oh, oh yeah, I do that too. <laughs> Listen to what Spirit said. You're trying to convince. If you say this is yourself, I'm going to let you say it yourself. I'm going to tell you what Spirit telling me. The Spirit say you're trying to convince somebody that you are worth it. You're coming at them saying that you're looking at yourself in the mirror. You're going to be bad. You're worth it. You're, I mean, you're really just on this. I'm, I need you to know that I'm about this. Uh, you think that's you? Or somebody you're trying to impress? No, I just got me here. There you go. Thank you. So that's what that's where your head at. You're really trying to convince somebody to 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 see you as the most important thing, if not the most beautiful thing. Oh, okay. And it ain't nothing wrong okay. with that. Yeah. Would you like to ask? Would yeah. you like to ask Ocean Mayor a, a question? Because you are really doing a lot of sweet talking. That means that this person that you don't feel this person is listening because you're constantly repeating yourself. But would you like to ask him a yeah. question? Should I stop? Spirit, should she stop attempting to deal with this fella? Spirit say power of joy. Two rainbows. Hell no. You keep it up because he liked the chase. Okay. Keep it up. Ooh. Go ahead. Now we're going to go over here to your second area. This area, this is your... This area here results in your actions. Why you do the things you do, move the way you move, even react to the things the way you react to. In this area right here, you have Oshun. If you know anything about Oshun, beautiful goddess, smell good, taste good, feel good. She just beautiful all over all that. She gets it done. People don't understand Oshun dark side because you know she can shut down the world if she want to. Yeah, she, I, I don't think I'm... Well, I can see myself as a beautiful ocean, but I think of myself more as the other one. Uh, which other one? The, the dark side. Okay, if you can see yourself as a, and it's the reason why I told you that. So, if yeah. the way you're doing things, you got Oshun in this house, she say that it's okay to be beautiful, it's okay to be this, but you, you're standing up, the, when you stand up to somebody, you're not standing up in the face they need to see. You're still standing up, but you're trying to sugarcoat it at the same time. Oh. So I need for you to, when you when you mean something, I need for you to hit it a little harder than what you're doing when you mean it. Now, this okay. is your action. She says you're lovable, you're kind, people care about you. I don't know what, where, because you're telling me, your subconscious is telling me you just some sugarcoated badass that want to fuck up everybody and people shouldn't take you for a joke. But uh, but right here. I should lean more towards my sweeter side. No, you should lean more towards your darker side. Okay. Because you're not tricking nobody. Okay. You're not tricking nobody. Okay. Would you like to ask her a question? Now, okay. would you like to ask this card a question? How do I, what do I need to, how do I know when to use my darker side? Spirit, how would she know when to get off on this dark side? How does she know when to utilize it? The Spirit say that need to be something of a peace offering. Uh, okay, gotcha. Submission. Meditate. Floor of Prosperity. All right, you're gonna know to use this dark side when people start fucking with your, when they start fucking with your money, they say you need to hit them just as hard as they hit you and don't stop. Okay. Don't stop until they say please, until they offer peace, okay? Okay. And now we're finna go over here to your destiny. This card was a little hard, but I want you to understand what this card is saying. All right. In your third area, this is your destiny. This is typically what you're going to end up doing, being, etc. In this house, you have Oya. Having Oya in this house is your destiny. She said you're destined for change. But not just destined for change because Oya represent the blowing winds. You're destined for change because they're saying you're going to put a stop to your past. 
You're going to put a stop to past people you dealt with. You're going to put a stop to past people your husband dealt with. You're going to put a stop to past people you dealt with in your family. It's like you're cutting everybody off, but you're cutting everybody off in order to find a better, a safer space because spirits say you're not feeling safe. It's like a real live thing where you feel like you're in danger of being betrayed, tricked, or fucked over. I'm, t I'm telling you. I'm giving people a chance to even get close to me to fuck me over. Well, that's been the change. That's been the change because spirit is gonna put you in a position where you can be so independent from that gas till it's unreal. You want to rely on their money. You want to rely on their daycare. You want to rely on a ride from them. You want to rely on them to come over and see you. None of that shit. You finna you finna be catapulted in a position to where they can't touch you or see you. I don't know what you're doing. To get to this this mech, but you got to cut off your past in order to do this. Spirit is not giving you a damn thing until you can for sure cut off the shit that makes you want to fight, bitch and moan. You might have cut everybody else off, but you haven't cut your past off. Think about it. I'm not talking about a physical person. I'm talking about the past. Okay. So what's these lingering memories, these lingering thoughts? When you was foolish, when you shouldn't have did what you did, your subconscious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat this with you now. Okay. When you were talking about self healing and you know all this work I'm doing, that's what I'm trying to get rid of, and I don't know how. All right. Now so she's that's saying. What I mean when I say I don't. Mm -hmm. She's saying she helping you get rid of. It. So how about you ask her a question? You can what ask. do I need to do specifically to get rid of it? Spirit, what okay. does she need to do? What does she need to do specifically to get rid of this? Energy healing. Okay. Now he says if you're trying to get rid of this and you need energy healing, are you, where you at? Or is it snowing? No. So y'all got y'all got the sun. Yeah, you in Georgia? You got the sun. <sighs> How many people in your household? More than two. Huh? I'll be in Florida Like at the beach? Yeah, they Gotcha. Now we talking. It's because Spirit was just going to tell you to go outside and get some sun. But uh, <clears throat> if you come here to Florida, you're going to get sun anyway. So in two weeks, what I need for you to do is put up your umbrella and sunbathe. Put the lotion on you so you don't get chaked up. I'm telling you, spirits say you put that lotion on your yeah, knee. Okay, so it's telling me, it's actually telling me what I need to do, and I'm behind it. So That's I want the, the umbrella, the lotion, bathing That's what's up. Okay. Now, is, is there anything particular that I need to do while I'm energy healing? Yes, while you're energy healing, I need for you to get a seashell. Okay? You writing this down? Yes. I need I need you to get a seashell, and when you get that seashell, I want you to put it on your chest, like in between your breast and your bra, and that's where you gotta heal. Now, as you're sitting in the sun, relaxing for a little bit, you ain't gotta be there all day and cook. But when you get done doing that, you're gonna be speaking at the same time when you're talking, and you're gonna be speaking under your breath, whispering, but air need to come out your mouth, and you're gonna be talking to that seashell, okay? Okay. When you get done talking to that seashell, and you get up, you run your ass in that ocean, and you throw that shell in that ocean. Okay. That's gonna, that's Ola Kuhn gonna come up there and grab that shit, and it's gonna take your memories away. So talk about all the pain and suffering you have, and how you don't want it no more. All the memories and thoughts. All the, the lies and the cries and shit. 
Tell it and then throw it in the ocean. You'll be healed. Okay. It's simple shit. I love it. Yay. All right. That was really cool. How did you like your reading? I loved it. I loved it. All right. And you're going to have to book another I'm one for me. Hmm? You don't have to book another one for me. Make it longer because this is who is your Arisha got yet at the moment. I need this. I need for you to peer into your life with a consultation or something. Okay. I am. Uh, that was next. I wanted to. I wanted this was the the prelude. I'm coming back. Oh, which one? Which reading do I need to get next? Just get a consultation because you got questions. Yes, I do. That's I all. Think I'm psychic. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do that one next because I do. I have a lot of questions. All right then, darling. Thank you so much. No problem. You be good. Okay. Quick, short, sweet. I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust in your universe because at the end of the day, y'all you got. Take care. God bless. Much love. Alright, we're going to give you a five card spread. Mm -hmm. uh, if you pick the seventh house, you must ask that card a question. <sighs> Which you did not. Good. Uh, Alright, you got to realize that I am a direct energy reader, so I do not read birthdays or zodiac signs. Be open with the spirit and have fun. Be open with the spirit. Shuffle the cards. We've got the introduction out the way. Say so your first name so I can pray over the cards. And do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes, sir. So we have your current. Future economics. Yep. Uh -huh. Current economic affair, home life, future economic affairs, and your future. You yep. missed the card. One, two, three, four. You need one more. Let's jump on in this. We're going to start with your first card. Your first card is in your second house. Your second house is ruled by Taurus and is governed by Venus. Your second house represents your current economic situation. Money, wealth, prosperity, growth, and investment. Right here, right now. In this house right here, you have the Ace of Water in the upright position. Having this card in the upright position, Spirit is saying that there's... I don't want to say you, you're detached from your money, but you're more like a, I don't want to say you're detached from it. It's more like you're, you're, you're telling people like money ain't a thing. You, you, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like spirit saying you're, you detached, but you, you just like shit, money ain't a thing. You know, I ain't money ain't shit. I ain't worried about no money. You just, you just feel like you're on top of your shit when it comes to your finances right here, right now. Now, what Spirit is saying, the sun don't always shine. So, just because you got it right now, don't think that somebody can't steal it. And that's what you're looking, that's what's going on in the future is going to be somebody th stealing from you. So, you need to stop boasting about how you got it and start guarding it. You understand me? Uh, would you like to ask this card a question? Um, okay, you said somebody might steal it from me. Any idea who that person might be? Spirit, what's 
spirit. Who's the person that's uh, looking this deeper? Uh, you live with your mother? My mother? Yeah, a female. I'm just gonna go mother. First card, first name came to me. What, what female lives with you? Oh, what female lives with me? Uh, my two stepdaughters? Your two stepdaughters. Mother, wife, yeah. sister, okay. daughters. Okay, are they old enough to drive cars, smoke cigarettes, have boyfriends, etc., etc.? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, 18 and 20. Uh, way old. Well, you ask the question who's you ask the question who's going to be stealing from you and thieving from you. There you go. It's the it's one of the female it's one of the females in the house. I don't know which one cuz they they oh. the energy is too similar but spirit says uh you need to look out for them. Okay. Yeah, I kind of yeah, I kind of have an idea. All right. On which one like All right. All right. Thank you. Now we're going to go over here to your third house. Your third house is ruled by Gemini and is governed by, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, your third house is ruled by Gemini and is governed by Mercury. Your third house, oh, well, your third house represent, yeah, your third house represent communication. With, with Gemini in this house, you need to take communication for what it is, information. And in this house right here, you have the ten of fire in the upside down position. Having this card in the upside down position, Spirit is saying 100%. That you're you're not sparing your words. You are definitely not sparing your words when it comes down to it. I need, I need to work on that. The spirit say you have no caution, no chill, no shit. You just brack. Now the warning the warning that is coming to me is say that you're supposed to be extending a hand. It's okay to bitch and argue and to put people in their place. But what are you doing on the aftershock? Are you going to say, hey, I'm here for you. Come support me when you get your shit together, when you get your act together versus saying you'll fuck up and leaving it at that. Uh, Where's the follow up? Uh, yeah. Making sense? Yeah, definitely. I know. I know. I know. So would you like to ask this card a question? <laughs> say what now? Everybody do stupid. Everybody do stupid stuff until they realize it's stupid. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that, um, no question. This is pretty clear, uh, and I totally agree. <laughs> All right. Now we're finna go over here to your fourth house. Your fourth house is ruled by Cancer and is governed by the Moon. Your fourth house represent your actual house and home where you live. I would like to add, it represent the three closest people. You will allow to stay in your home via friends and family. In this house right here, you have the uh, the, in, the enslaved prisoner, but you have him in the upside down position. Now, let me tell you something. I don't know if you're telling yourself that you can leave, or you, uh, I mean, I don't know if you're telling everybody that you'll pack your shit and leave, or you just feeling like you got the right to leave and go where the fuck you want because you don't want to do this no more. But spirits say this is all you're saying and doing. You are, so, you are so detached, you are so detached from that house, you say this shit ain't got no chains on me, and I don't even know if you ever had chains on you in that house, but you say ain't no chains on me no more, I'll pack my shit and leave, y'all can head out, you got that energy going on, like really bitch, you like, don't fuck with me. I know, my spirit ain't say you were wrong not one time, did him. <laughs> Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, well, would it, would it be a bad decision for me to leave? Spirit, spirit, will it be a bad decision for her to leave? Drink more water, okay. Release tension, let it go. Drink more water, release tension, and let it go. Don't go nowhere. Yes, yes, it will be a bad thing. I mean, spirits say you're copping out. You're just taking the easy way out. Okay. <laughs> he was like, waiting on the baron to say, go. Yeah, bitches, I'm out. Deuces.
No. Thank you. All right, now we you. now we're gonna go over here to your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future economic affairs, future money, wealth, prosperity, growth, and investment. In this house right here, you have the Moon card in the upright position. Now let me tell you that this card represents betrayal, heartbreak, heartache. This is in your Six house of money, future money. Spirit is telling me to tell you to be on the lookout for somebody stealing your money. Oh. They are going to break your heart when they steal it. Wow. So please be on the lookout. Okay. All right. I will. Yeah. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um. Spirit, what would be the best way for her to protect herself and her business? You are seeing the situation accurately. Retreat to nature. See the other person's point of view. So, did somebody give you a security plan, a cyber plan? Somebody gave you a full fledged, this is what we're going to do to protect you. Spirit says somebody already gave you what you need to do, you just ain't doing it. Oh. So who's giving you the, the, the talk on how to do things? Uh, well, I talk to my husband a lot as far as security and things like that. So if you talk to your husband a lot, they say see the other person's point of view. Take a back seat because retreat to nature. And then they say another thing. You are seeing it correctly. Your husband got some great ideas. So if you want to protect yourself, how about you allow him to do the protecting? Okay. Okay? okay. All right. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go over here to your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and it's governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represents your reality, your future, what will come, what will be. This is what's coming to you. And in this house right here, you have the seven of earth in the upside down position. All right, so you're tired of struggling. You're finna come down off that tree. You're tired of chasing. So question is, who you gonna leave a business in charge? Who you gonna leave in charge of the business or allow to work more hours at the business? Who you, who you were thinking? So you were just gonna let the business go vacant for a little bit? Um, no, no, no. Um, I just wanted to take like a small vacation from me, like put it, put it on pause. Well, spirits say you you are going to put it on pause, but you need to choose wisely of the person who you have as the face of it or as the cab register person when you put this on this pause. Would you like would you like to ask this card a question? This is your future money now. Your heartbreak is coming to you in the future if you don't do these things, okay? Uh-huh. Alright, would you like to ask this card a question? Um Is there anything else I see in my future? Sure, is there anything else you guys is there anything else you guys see in our future? Listen. <laughs> Is there anything else you see in the future? Freedom. Purification. Spirit is saying what they see in your future, only thing they're telling you is to get rid of certain people out of your life. If you know you got to get rid of those two girls, get rid of them. If they're making your marriage shitty, get rid of them. Spirit say purification, freedom, and listen. Yeah, that's a tough one. Cause, um, 
he loves his daughters dearly, and whenever we argue, he's always about them. And I actually like I think I'm a pretty good uh, mom. Like I take care of them financially, specifically financially, mm-hmm. way more than their own logical mom. Right. But most of the headaches I get and stuff is from them, and that's one of the main reasons why sometimes I get so upset. I just want to pack my shit and leave. Spirit say that's not the right way to do it. Yeah, no. So, like, <laughs> you see my dilemma now? I'm like, I really don't want him to be away from his daughter. But I'm getting so much headache from it. Maybe I should remove myself. Nah, don't you remove yourself. Don't you let let yourself leave your husband. You get rid of that young ass and let them go out there and get boyfriends and get fucked and get worked over. You take care of your husband. <laughs> Them a lot. Okay, them and he and he gonna still love. He gonna still love him once the dude come scoop their ass up in a Cadillac. Yeah. So what you need to do is start making their ass independent. Go out, pushing them towards a relationship so they can be out y'all house. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Simple. Okay. Maybe help them get a job. Yeah. Maybe in the maybe like that. That's right, but keep her at keep their ass away from your finances, away from your money bucket, away from the cash register. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do believe the money is right now. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is like you, you definitely uh, hit the spot. That's exactly what's been like bothering me the most right now. So you got it. All right. Well, did that do it for you? No problem. If you need to reach me, you know how. I will. And say hey to Miss Shaya. Tell her we love her very much. We oh. love you too, Mr. Barry. God, thank you for loving me, Secondary. Uh, when she called me tonight, I'll let her know. <laughs> okay. All right, darling. Good night. Thank you. All right. Bye. Everybody, these readings are going by so fast. You guys may have four tonight. I don't know. It just, yeah, so the, everything, the spirit is just hitting it on the head, what people really want, and I'm loving that. Positive comments below. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust you in universe, because at the end of the day, y'all, you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all, and you have a great one. Soul Tribe.